It was a very early experience I had when I used to work at the docks in Melbourne. We were in the tea room and there was a bit of a banter and hostility between some workers. And uh, one of them said, um, you know, he's dunking his tea bag and he says, hey, come over here, mate. You hear about Simo? And the other guy goes, no, what happened to Simo? He says, oh, wait, wait for it, mate, you better sit down. He did A, B and C. Really? A, B and C, yeah. Oh, L, K and J and X, Y and Z. I know, what a rat bag, eh? What a jerk. Who would have thought? Pass some milk, will you, mate? And the sugar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jacko told me. So what do you reckon? Come on. No sitting on the fence. Come on. Fess up. What do you reckon? So you kind of, like, at this point, you're kind of the fish hooks coming down your throat and you're about to get reeled in. <laughs> well, my, my suggestion at this point is, it goes like this. What do I think? Actually, quite a few things, actually. Thanks for asking. Um, first of all, Simo's not here. So, uh, but uh, when I want to find him, he's up the back and on the left. And I've had a few conversations with Simo. Uh, and he's got some things consistent with me. One of them's called loyalty. Now, I don't know where other people put their priorities, but I value loyalty pretty highly on my list. And so does Simo when I speak to him. So for that reason, I can't talk to you about Simo. And then I walk out of the room. Now, what are they going to repeat? They'll say, what did he say? Oh, he said he values loyalty. Yeah, what's wrong with that? You know, whereas I go, oh, get off him, you backstabbing jerk, you know. What did he call you? Oh, backstabbing jerk, what does he know? What I call it is values-based conversations where you actually reference a standard of human behaviour, namely values. An example might be honesty, um, integrity, respect, those sort of values. 